What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Vibrations with Patrice, and this is Patrice. Uh, today on this video, it's going to be all the way different. This is something new that I want to bring to my page. Uh, eventually, I'm going to branch off and start a podcast, but I'm trying things here. Uh, initially, I started on this page with praying, and I see that a lot of people wasn't into it, um, but I do always want to pick God first. And tell him thank you for this platform and this opportunity to make a difference in this world. Uh, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. I want to say thank you for your viewers. Uh, please stop and like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, let's get on to the video. Okay, today's video is not a vlog. Today's video is not about cooking. Today's video is something that's dear to my heart. That is narcissistic personality disorders, mental health problem, toxic relationships. My glasses is crooked. That's what it's toxic. Sorry, yeah. Um, um, mentally being abused, physically abused, uh, bad relationships, and things of that nature. And I also want to do a reaction on the Jacksons of Atlanta new skit, y'all. This that thing's in my eye, and I don't, I don't want y'all to be like, oh my god, that's in her eye, because if it's in my eye, then it's in your eyes. Let's make it for some light. Okay. <sighs> uh, about the Jacksons of Atlanta. Excuse me, y'all. Um, I had stopped watching them for a long time, because after that um, incident with them twins, baby, I had, I had the... I had to kind of quit. You feel me? Look at y'all. Y'all see my glasses are just so... <laughs> That's probably because of my weave. Oh, y'all, I know y'all. This is a whole different video, but this is the wig I recreated out of my recycled hair. So, yes, that's what it's given off. Since this ain't the video for this, <laughs> I'll show y'all in another video. But if y'all haven't checked that video out, please go do that. But first, watch this one. Okay. So I have my notes down here. For those that don't know, I am dyslexic. I might stumble over my own notes, so please bear with me. And I'm gonna get started. I gotta get to my notes, y'all. How was your day? Comment down below and tell me about that. I mean, not your day, but your weekend. How was y'all weekend? Yes, make sure you comment down below and tell me about this. Now let's get to it, honey. This is crazy. What in God's world, when does pastors start acting like this? Skits or no skits? When do they start don't treating the first lady like this? Like, mm-mm. Like, I am a child of God. Okay. I don't play. I'm a warrior. Uh-uh, Justin. Uh-uh. Mahogany is great i watch it for the twins in mahogany oh in mahogany i haven't watched it since the fiasco with the twins i think it was disgusting what they did to the viewers the subscribers we put your you know we're your fans and we watch y'all and then y'all for nine months tell us about them twins and then boom it was just gone so i don't know what happened with that so i'm not going to speak on it no more i don't know what they said i stopped watching it okay let's say uh one day I was sitting there and I just clicked on it. Long story short, I clicked on it and their new skit came up. So at the beginning of it, now if y'all watched this, when they was just doing the regular video, y'all, it was going normal, normal, normal. Now, with narcissistic personality disorder, they like to wear a mask, period. They want the world to see them as great, 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 happy, 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 joyful, joyful, joyful. But it don't be like that. Because when you get home and ain't no cameras on and ain't nobody there, yeah, they're monsters. I mean, you see how he talked to her? Tell her to shut the fuck up. Oh, be sorry. Shut the F up. Don't talk to her. Your body's disgusting. That was not no skit, y'all. That's how he really, really talks to her behind closed doors like that's how he you see how she was quiet and timid like he rules her 
Like, and you could tell that she's just frustrated. And then, what, I mean, being out of hotel, what, huh? Out of hotel? Please, out of hotel, all kissing and smacking her butt? I go crazy if my man is even looking at another woman. More or less touching. I don't care what kind of YouTube prank. None of that. That's not going down. That's not. So if y'all haven't watched that, don't subscribe. Watch. Watch. I need everybody to comment down below. He is a narc. A narcissist. There's way more. All right. So let me get in my notes. All right. Okay. Let's go. Okay. 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 He's an abuser mentally. He's an abuser. You you could tell how he puts her down a bit. And she'd be like, oh, Justin, you know, you're just so funny. You're so funny. But it low-key, it really be hurting her. And then he tries to make her seem like she's the bad person. That's gaslighting. He's trying to make her feel like she should be guilty about something. You know what I'm saying? That's trying to make her mad. For example, you get into it with your spouse and you confront him about something. Now, with a narcissist, when you're confronting them, they hate it to be confronted. They hate when you challenge their words. So, her saying she wasn't getting that, that was challenging him, especially when he already said, she already agreed to it. So, sometimes with a narc, you'll agree to things because you just don't want to argue no more. Okay, I need some guy. You just don't want to argue no more. Uh, I believe that's what she did when they was talking about it, whatever. When she knew she was going to win, so she probably was like, Justin, I'll get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm already getting it. Tell me, tell I'll get it. And But she never really wanted to. So that was wrong for him to really mentally beat her up about the way her body looked. She just had the baby. He's body shaming her. He is body shaming her. Her baby ain't even nine months. I don't think. Is he not much? I don't know. But that is body shaming, and 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 it's horrible. Could you imagine how she really feels? And she go up to the hotel, and you see that girl there. Like you could see in her face that that she didn't know nothing about that skit. Like, all right, the skit that they were supposed to do. He went. He went out of um, character. And that's why she posted that. Because she, she's tired of feeling like this. I know because I was there before. I married my husband. And we both serve for narcissists. Um, I don't know too much if I'm a narc. I just, shout out to my mama. I just got a little bit of controlling issues. Because I grew up by myself. So, you know, I, I was a single mom for a long time. Until I found my husband. So that's what I suffer with. And then my mental problem, my depression, I need for my husband to lift me up in a way um, that God would lift me up, if that makes sense. God sent my husband to me, and you will be my warrior, and not, when I'm suffering something bad, you, you, you're you there to pick me up. How dare you make your wife, your first lady, feel like trash? How dare you kiss and touch and smack another woman Ever stand in front of you with lingerie on for your first lady. God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, where do they make people feel bad at? Huh? So tell me in this Bible, anybody, anybody, bro, where do they make you feel bad at? So he's mad at her now, y'all. Okay, let's move on. Who's mad at her now? Because people in the comments is eating them up. Won't you get a daddy makeover? Look at you. You look disgusting. You look disgusting. I'm a child of God. I ain't worried about what he got to say. None of that. I got a, a real warrior down there. So don't try me in any way. You talking about God is going to, oh, God is going to make you suffer karma. Huh, huh, huh. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You, please. God's going to suffer you karma. He's going to give you karma. That girl is beautiful. She went to Harvard. She's just smart. She take care of them kids. You left her with five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Babies. 
we seen what you said to her. We felt it deep down in our soul. F you, you can raise these shit. That's not a prank. Where is that a prank? Where? Please somebody tell me. Whoa, 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 y'all. Look at the clothes. Um, I'm sick to my stomach. And this is what the world is coming to. This is you and then y'all. Oh. Then she came downstairs. Did y'all hear him say? Oh, I'm liking our red hair and our black robe. Oh, you're looking like a demon. Demon. Who? What pastor says that? What pastor wants her wife to look like a demon? Please make it make sense. Please make it make sense, y'all. Right. He's showing his true color. They're going to come in the house and talk about it as a prank. So she don't look good, but you got Doka Donuts. She eating apples. You see them real tears coming out her ass? And then when you left your little fat gay self on grave, your little pink naughty. You grabbed your pink naughty and your grandma. Oh, you and your grandma and your mama too. Boy, don't nobody want no merch from you. I don't want no merch from you. Anybody else want some merch from him? No. You're disgusting. We watch it from Mahogany and them dang on twins. Don't nobody want to see Justin and them tight. Can't fit them pants. Your titties hanging to the floor. Stomach overflowing. Stop putting all that damn sugar in your coffee. Yeah, I'm talking directly to you because I'm not scared of you. You are a demon. And for you to use my God and say you're a pastor? How dare you? How dare you treat the child, child I mean, mother of your children like that? How dare you? How dare you? It's disgusting. Let's move on. He's trying to make her feel less of a person. So, them comments that she be getting in her in her uh, inbox and stuff, or how, how she's beautiful and stuff, that'll get to her. And this man treating you wrong over here, but this man telling you you're beautiful. That's going to give you enough strength. And plus, with your guys, with God's telling you, give you enough strength to be out. For real. Who's trying to make us hate her? She was wrong. She was wrong for putting out that video. I told her I didn't want that video out. I told her I didn't want that video. So, she's tired of living in that hell by herself. That she is. That I know. She's hurting really bad. Really bad. What in the world is going on? You don't treat your wife like that. You don't treat your, your your first lady like that. You don't treat your husband like that. You wouldn't treat your spouse like that, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, then he, y'all, he, he's moving to Houston with the chick. They was really boning, y'all. Excuse my French. They really got it clapping. He was in there really with his pink nighty on. He grabbed the pink nighty, y'all. <laughs> Did y'all see him grab it out the closet? Fuck that, you can rub it. You can, oh, fat, oom, 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 oom. You can raise these kids by yourself. Boy, bah. Make it make sense, huh? Sis is banging. She got that. Huh? I don't know who that is. Mm-mm. Because I ain't. Hold on. Hang up. All right, let's move on. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I don't know who that was. Um, I really believe he really cheated and was clapping cheeks with that, that tranny. Oh, my bad. Ooh, the girl. Because, y'all, we were trying to see if it was. Because you know what they do down in the A. 
hey, hey, they get down like that. They get down like that. But that's alleged. That's alleged. I don't know. He allegedly did that. Um. All right. Oh, my goodness. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. If y'all hear a lot of noise in the background, that's the kids. They ain't have school today. I didn't even know it was President. Was. <laughs> I care less if I'm not in the presence. They don't do nothing for us. Anyway, let's move on. So, he wanted to leave, right? What was he saying? What did he say? Uh, how he said? What did he say, y'all? Um, so, if you don't want to get to this... BBL, well, F it. I'm leaving. You can raise these kids by yourself. First and foremost, you don't play with your kids. Your kids don't got nothing to do with it. They shouldn't even been in a prank, first of all. That, you look disgusting. If it was a prank, that looked disgusting anyway. Facts, period. All that. No cap, as the kids would say. I don't want you talking like that. You don't want you playing like that. That's manifesting stuff that you really mean. And my, well, me and my husband, I first got on a pink. I got glitter because I got my, my surroundings. Um, I used to put them on these pranks and had them start watching these people. He used to say, man, babe, they mean what they say. Like, that ain't no real prank. Like, the, when they do them cheating pranks and be telling you I don't want you and stuff, low-key, they really be tired of people. Um, I think he was really just tired of the life. I think he just, allegedly, I think he just wants... To use her and them kids for the money. And at the end of the night, he really leave and go sleep around, party, get his rest. So that that um, saying, um, what do you say, the, the BBL thing, that was a front. Um, I know because, like I said, I married my Nork. But if y'all want that story time... Comment down below, um, and or get this video up to two hundred. No, not even two hundred because I don't even get fifteen. Get it up to sixty likes, and I need at least a hundred views and three more subscriptions. Um, I'll give you that story time of when my husband left me for Jezebel. And so that's, you know, his, they do things to make you seem like you did something bad in a relationship or in a marriage so they can move on and forget about the responsibilities and leave you with the responsibility so they can go out and party and have fun and you be effed up. Fact. He thought she was going to get effed up, but you know, them endorsements is coming from her and them, um, them kids. Don't nobody want no fake pastor. Sorry. It, the truth shelf sets you free. Fake pastor. Um, advertising her stuff. No. If he wants a fake pastor advertising my products and he's committing adultery. Like, that's committing adultery. Don't, Mr. Pastor. Mr. Pastor. You don't know the 12 commandments? <laughs> Thou shalt not commit adultery, baby. Baby. Hey. Oh. Baby. I would never. He would never. We've been to it. We was waiting a girlfriend and you should have worked it out like that. You're a liar. You're a hypocrite. You sold your soul for, for uh, cash and all that. Yeah. You're no different. Yeah. 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 But see, the thing is, she's still a child of God. She do these things because of you. Because of you. Y'all, this is already 19 minutes. Let me wrap this up. Um, this video is about hating her body. Hating her body. That's disgusting to say about your wife. I hate your body. If I got a book out of it, I want you to fix it. That's disgusting. I just pray for her. Y'all yeah, pray. This is real life. Um, don't change your mind. 
Listen to your inner self. Listen to your inner self. Listen to God. Pray. That man is serious. I know you've been through this. I'm talking to you. I'm going to DM her. I've been DMing her and DMing her, y'all. And I ain't going to lie. Because it's so dear to my heart. But a nort can change. And uh, I don't know if y'all watch him, but go check him out. Um, the Norcasses do. I, I ain't going to say his name because I don't know. But go check him out. Find him. Um, for no, wait, ladies that's suffering through narcissist abuse, it helped me out. And it taught me so many things about my husband that I did not know. You know what I'm saying? And how to deal with it. A nor can change. He can love you if y'all go through the right steps. He don't. You can be his counseling. But girl. Mm-mm. Mm -mm, no, that ain't right. That ain't right. No, no. Did y'all see in that video they just posted? It's old, y'all. That my husband's pregnant with number six. That's old. Look at her hairstyle. Like they give us videos. Well, y'all, because I'm not subscribed to them. I left them a long time. They give y'all videos, old videos, and they just mix them up like. As becoming a content creator, I know what people do because I have dropped some old videos a long time ago. From a long time ago. And just put the day's date on it. And so that video with her hair like that and the ponytail, her hair is red right now. Like, that's the prank. Like, that was the prank video of him coming home saying all that. Like, y'all, I don't know what they're doing and why he is... Like he's a real life demon, y'all. A real life demon. But yeah, that was the reaction. Um, comment down below, y'all. I, I got a question. Do y'all think it's real? Just be honest. Like, I don't. I just. I just want to know. Like, and I, I'm gonna start doing it a lot more. These reactions. This is my little, my little area. Yeah, this is my kids' this art, so this makes me feel special over in this area. So yeah, this, this is my little podcast area. Let me get it. Yeah, so I, I'm going to make that a part. But yeah, please comment down below about this. This is serious, ladies. Narcissistic abuse. Like, it is something. Narcissistic personality disorder is real, y'all. Mental health is real, y'all. I am here for y'all. Right? I, I don't know if y'all can see my certificate, but we go I'm gonna show that process. Uh, chemical imbalances are real, y'all. Please, 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 if you need help, go get it. Ladies, if you're in an abusive situation, go get help. It's dangerous. Or you have to talk to them. No. Granted, my husband never, ever, ever, ever put his hands on me. But we have, I have hair and we done been through it. But yeah, comment down below if y'all want that story time. But baby, please go, please, please pay attention. That man is a, a, a bad person. I could, look, I'm getting goose. I really have the ability to feel different things. And I'm telling you, you know. And I'm talking directly to you. I'm talking directly to the women that are suffering from narcissistic abuse. Abuse period. From your spouse. LGBTQ. From anybody. I'm here to help y'all. I'm here to talk to y'all. Y'all ain't alone. But this is Ariel on our video. So I'm out of here. Thank you for tuning in. This is Vibrations with Patrice. I am Patrice. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, tell a friend about me. Tell your mom, your grandma, your sister, your brother, your uncle. It's a family page, but I also you start this podcast because it's there to my heart about mental health and abuse. So, till next video, y'all. I love y'all. Peace.